There are so many things that you can do with Meta Business Suite to make posting on Instagram and growing your Instagram account a much easier process. And in this video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial of Meta Business Suite, but specifically for Instagram and the advantages that Meta Business Suite has for people who primarily create content for Instagram. So if you've completely deleted your Facebook account and you only want to use Meta Business Suite for Instagram, this is going to be the perfect video for you. The first thing you need to do is go to business.facebook.com and you will most likely come to a page that looks exactly like this. You want to log in with your Instagram, click login. And once you're logged in, you'll probably see a prompt like this. And one of the main features of Meta Business Suite is that you're able to save time. And this is a grid showing us some of the key benefits of Meta Business Suite. With Meta Business Suite, you can manage your messages and comments in one inbox. You can't do that with Facebook or Instagram. You can focus on what's working best with detailed insights. You can plan ahead by scheduling posts and stories ahead of time, which you can do on Facebook and you also can do on Instagram now. You can schedule posts on Instagram. You can reach more people with advertising and you know that Meta is all about advertising. And so let's just press get started. And so at the present moment, I have my Instagram account connected to my Facebook page and this is a brand new Instagram account. So in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be showing you videos about how I'm actually growing my Instagram account in the present day under the 2023 algorithm. But if you don't see your Instagram account here, I'm going to show you how to add it. Now, there are two ways that you can add your Instagram account so that it shows up in Meta Business Suite. But this is the first way that I recommend doing right here in Meta Business Suite. I will make one note, though. If you log in with your Instagram account and you do not have a Facebook page, then you will have a limited number of resources to actually use with Meta Business Suite. So, so I recommend creating a Facebook page, even if you don't plan on posting it and linking it to your Instagram account so that you get the rest of these features. But you want to come to all tools and then you want to come over to settings. Once you get to settings, you want to go to business assets. You want to tap on more and then you want to tap on Instagram accounts. And it's going to show you the Instagram accounts that you have access to. And you can see the new Instagram account that I created right here. And the login is needed to show the status of this account. But if you don't have an Instagram account here, click on add assets. And then you can choose a Facebook page, an Instagram account or a WhatsApp account. We're going to click on Instagram account, accept the terms and then claim an Instagram account. At this point, all you would need to do is sign in with the Instagram login details and that account will be added to Meta Business Suite. Now that you've linked your Instagram account to Meta Business Suite and you've most likely taken my advice and created a business page and connected it to your Instagram account, you can see various insights from your page flashing in a kind of carousel right here on the top right to give you a quick glance of the different insights that are going on with your Facebook and Instagram accounts. And one of the key features of Meta Business Suite is the ability to manage both an Instagram account and a Facebook page at the very same time from one central hub. This is so important because at the moment, Instagram has a very paltry selection of monetization options for their platform. You have shops, e-commerce, brand deals, and things of that nature, but nothing where Instagram is directly paying content creators or people on Instagram for the content that they're posting. Whereas Facebook has several different monetization tools that you can qualify for. And I created an entire video about these several different monetization tools and how you can take part of them by posting your content through Meta Business Suite or Facebook to Instagram, which is another benefit of creating the Facebook page like I suggested you do in the beginning of this video. Meta Business Suite Instagram gives us a to-do list and tells us to check unread messages, comments, and other things that may require our attention in order to boost engagement on our profiles and accounts. We can either delete these draft posts or we can complete them and post them or schedule them. We can also manage all of our content right here from Meta Business Suite, but I want you to notice how Facebook describes it. Manage your marketing content because Meta Business Suite is primarily for businesses or people who are using the Instagram and Facebook platforms to earn an income doing what they love. And it doesn't have to be as a content creator. It can be a brick and mortar business, an online business or any other type of business, but your content is most likely going to be marketing content. We can see our posts, our stories, and if we were running ads, we could actually see the ads that we were running right here in Meta Business Suite. But the feature I'm most excited about to show you is the planner. And if you look in the top right corner, you'll see there's a schedule post button, and there's also a down arrow that allows us to schedule a story. But if we wanted to get a full view, we could click on see planner, but let's click on schedule post. Let's say we were planning on scheduling out only our content for this week. This would be a great view because it shows us Sunday through Saturday. All we would need to do was click on schedule post and then make our post and schedule it right here. But let's say that we wanted to work on the entire month. Then what we would do was click on C planner and then we can change this from week to month and we can get a look at all of the content that we have planned and also the holidays that are coming up so that we can prepare for those and create holiday related or holiday specific content. So let's say I wanted to schedule my post for tomorrow. All I have to do is click on schedule and then I can choose a post, a reel, 
I can schedule a live or schedule an ad. And so we're going to schedule a post. And the first thing that Meta Business Suite wants us to do is to actually set up the date and the time. And so right now it's only showing Facebook. So we want to close this. And then you want to come to the top where it says post to and you want to change this. Now, I can make this post to not only my Facebook profile, but I can also make it post to my Instagram account at the same time. And I can even publish it to some Facebook groups that I'm in. The next thing I need to do after I've selected where I want my scheduled post to go is to choose the actual media. So if it's a photo, a video, or use a Vimeo template, which I don't think many people do, but let's say there's a photo I wanna use and I can either upload it from desktop or I can upload it from File Manager. Now, if we go back to settings, I can show you where File Manager is, but let's just click File Manager and you'll see that I already have several different pieces of content that I've created and uploaded so that whenever I'm ready to schedule my content, I always have it standing by. And so let's just grab one of these first ones and then we'll click add. And so it's added our media. It lets us see what it's going to look like. This is the Facebook feed preview. Let's change this to Instagram feed preview. And this is what our post will look like in Instagram. Once again, let's change this again. We can crop it, filter it. We can add text, stickers, or alt text if we so choose. We can change the format from original to square, horizontal, or vertical. But what we simply want to do is add more photos because we want this to be a carousel on Instagram. We're going to click add. We're going to go back to the top and deselect Facebook. And now we see the arrows have come up and our carousel is uploaded. The next thing we would do is to write an awesome caption. And then we would deal with our scheduling options. We could publish it now, we could schedule it, or we can save as draft. If we publish now, it will publish directly to our Instagram account immediately. And if we choose the schedule, Instagram will automatically let us know what are the active times for our current audience, which is 1 p.m. tomorrow, 9 a.m. Tuesday, or 3 a.m. on Sunday. Simply choose a time, click save, and then all I would have to do is click schedule and my post would be scheduled to go out. And if I wanted to schedule my content for the entire month, all I would do is rinse and repeat this process for every single day of the week for, for as many times as I like to post to Instagram to grow my account. This does not take a long time when you already have your content created and uploaded through File Manager. And so if this is something that you want to do with your content through Meta Business Suite, this is how you go to File Manager. You go to All Tools and over on the right, you're going to go to File Manager and then you're going to Create Folder give it a name and click create folder. Once you have your folder created, you click on it and then you either click add file or you click the drop down menu and you add an image or video. Once you've clicked on the folder, you click add file and then you either click add image or add video depending on the content you're going to be uploading. Meta Business Suite will then open up your finder or your windows so that you can upload your files to file manager. And whenever you're ready to schedule your content out for as many days as you like, that content will immediately be available to you right there in file manager. Another thing that Meta Business Suite does is it showcases reels and creators to give you inspiration for your own content. Basically, Meta Business Suite is letting you know what content is actively being promoted or is working the best across their suite of apps. So it's easy for you to take a glance at these reels and also these creators and see how your content can actually perform better or compete with theirs. The next thing I want to show you is the inbox for Meta Business Suite. And here you can look at all of your messages for Messenger or your DMs for Instagram. You can also respond to Instagram comments and Facebook comments all in one place. So inbox is more or less your communication line with people who engage with your content or engage with your account, whether it's through your public content or through a private message they sent you. But one of the most powerful features of Meta Business Suite that's going to help you grow your Instagram account and I'm going to be using to grow my Instagram account and I'm going to let you guys watch me do it on this channel is the insights. And so we want to go to all tools again. And then we want to come to the furthest right column and click on insights. Once we get to insights, we see that there are a plethora of different analytical aspects that Facebook or Meta Business Suite is giving us about our content for Facebook and Instagram. So right now it's only showing my Facebook page, but let's quickly look at this. You can manage multiple Facebook pages and Instagram accounts together. Multiple assets can be managed together on select tabs within content and video insights. Only assets within the same Meta Business account can be managed together. So let's go ahead and select assets and remember, in the beginning, when we added our Instagram account, it was an asset that we were adding. The overview is going to primarily give you the statistics on your Facebook page, but you can view the statistics on your Instagram page. And I'm going to show you how in just a moment, but you can see your audience, your messaging, etc. The next tab is the results tab, and you can see your Facebook page reach as well as your Instagram reach. You can also see the number of profile visits that you're receiving on each platform. So I can see that since I've started this Instagram account, I've received about 142 or more profile visits during that time. And my Facebook page has received 377 profile visits. I also get a report of new page likes and Instagram followers. 
And if I was running paid ads, I would also be able to review how those are doing right here without going into ads manager. The next thing that I'm able to look at is the audience. So for Instagram, you need to have 100 Instagram followers to see the demographic data. And Meta Business Suite even has a new feature called benchmarking where you're able to compare your performance against other businesses in the same category as yours on Facebook and Instagram. And right here, I can see that my Instagram account is performing in the one percentile as far as pieces of content published. And those who are in the 75th percentile are publishing 24 pieces of content within the same time frame. I've only published one piece of content on this Instagram account within the last 28 days, whereas accounts that are in the 75th percentile have published 24 pieces of content within the last 28 days. So if you want to grow on Instagram, you need to post at least once a day. So although I've only posted one time on Instagram within the last 28 days, I've generated half as many interactions as people similarly do who are in a higher percentile than me. And if I wanted to see this on Facebook, all I would have to do is click that down button and switch it over. But let's say I'm doing research and I'm trying to find Instagram accounts that I should probably be comparing my content to or trying to grow from. Come to the tab that says businesses to watch and click. And in this place, I can compare how my content performs compared to other similar businesses by adding them here, or I can opt out if I don't want my business to show up on the list. And so we can add Instagram businesses to the list by typing in their name. So let's see if Alex Hormozzi comes up. All right, I think this is the real one with 990,000 followers. Let's see if Seth Godin comes up. 366,000, that's the real one. And then let's click finish. So the first column tells us the total number of followers that they have. And the second column is typically reserved for the number of follows minus the number of unfollows. And then this is the number of pieces of content that these counts have published. So I posted one time in the last 28 days, Alex Ramosi, 241 times. So remember I told you that you have to post at least once a day to Instagram? Well, Alex is posting an average of seven to eight times a day based on this metric. And so if you want to grow on Instagram, it's definitely a volume game. But the next section is our actual content. And again, here, Facebook posts, Facebook stories, but we can just skip over and go to Instagram posts and we can see how well they perform. Now, this gives us a very detailed breakdown of how our Instagram posts are performing. And we can see that the last 90 days, it was like a thousand. And then the 90 days prior, it was 27. Our median post reach for different media types. So whenever I post a video, the median post is about 79 average. If it's an image, it's about 16. So we see that videos or reels are still getting a lot more reach than regular photographs are, than their live posts and carousel posts, which I've yet to post to this Instagram account. And as I create that content and I share my journey with growing this Instagram account, I'll be able to come back and show you guys these statistics. Another great metric they give us is the engagement. So we can look at the posts, likes, comments, and shares, prior 90 days, last 90 days, five for videos, two for images, five for reels, two for other posts. And there is definitely a trend among Instagram reels being more popular than photographs. Even though I'm working with a small amount of data, it seems that that trend is still holding true. And these are the top performing organic posts that I've actually created for my Instagram account. And right here, you can see that they are all Instagram reels. This particular reel reached 880% more accounts, more account center accounts than your median post. And if we want to look at the actual content, we come to the content tab. And now we can see our Instagram posts and stories and the likes and sticker taps and all of this good stuff, replies, link clicks, comments, shares. But you can click here and you can add Facebook posts in and Facebook stories if you like. You can go to messaging overview so that you can get insights for your messaging performance if you're using that for your business. You can then look at your video performance. In this next section titled video, most of these are going to be analytics that were brought in from Facebook Creator Studio because it has been phased out or will be phased out in about two or three days after I record this video. But the performance, the benchmarking, the audience, the loyalty, the retention are all Facebook features. And even when you come to video earnings, these are for in-stream ads. And so we can see in-stream ads right there and stars. And let's say you wanted to set up your Instagram shop. You could come here to where it says commerce and you can manage your inventory and sales across Facebook and Instagram. So let's click on that. And so once you get here, you won't have a commerce manager account yet. So come to this blue button on the right and click add account. And this is the page where it's going to walk you through creating your shop for Instagram or Facebook. So setting up the shop is free and it only takes a few minutes. They do charge a 5% selling fee but it is waived through June 30th, 2023. And so as so after June 30th this year, they will start charging the 5% selling fees similar to Amazon, but 5% is a lot more manageable. And these are just some of the features and benefits of selling on Facebook and Instagram, fast and seamless checkout, access to exclusive features, tag products and posts and stories. And this is definitely good because if you do Amazon affiliate marketing, you can tag your products on social media and post them in your shop possibly. 
And you can even have integrations with partner platforms like Shopify, BitCommerce, et cetera. So if you already have a Shopify store, you can set up using your partner platform or you can create a test shop to try out the integration and preview customer purchase experiences. And it's so easy to cross post content these days on Facebook and Instagram, because not only can you cross post from Instagram to Facebook, but you can now cross post from Facebook to Instagram and you can do the same thing in Meta Business Suite. All you have to do is click on create post in the top right corner or create real or create story. It does not matter. And you can choose whether the post goes to both of them or not. And one detail, one detail I wanted to make sure I added that I left out is that you can click this small button here and you can customize the post for Facebook and Instagram so that if it's on, I can choose to write one particular caption for Facebook and another particular caption for Instagram. You cannot do that through the Instagram app. and You cannot do that through the Facebook app. So I highly recommend watch my other video that's going to show you how to cross post your content from Facebook to Instagram, but even more importantly, or even better, post your content through Meta Business Suite for Instagram and for Facebook and reap the benefits of both platforms.